guys, welcome to another episode of Screaming Eagles Airsoft 101. I'm joining you from my room right now uh, because I don't have nothing to show you on the screen and uh, I'm really tired. I just uh, did some work. But uh, some of you, my girlfriend would say I'm being lazy. I call myself being efficient. So uh, I'm here to do a gun review on this right here. It's a TSD, it's a TSD tactical gun. Uh, it's the SD92. Um, gas blowback, that's all it is right there. Um, just pretty much a Beretta M9. It has a key mirror on the hand grip right here. So, um, that's that. It's pretty much standard Beretta, semi automatic only. Uh, cock it back, your charged uh, safety features right here. You have one set, two settings fire or safety. Um, double action, so you don't have to cock every time to pull back the hammer. Comes with one mag. Um, Easy to take apart, just uh, press the lever on this end and lower it down and the whole slide just comes right off. Easy to maintain, easy to clean like any other normal gas blowback pistol. Um, I shot it, you know, at a practice that we had a couple days ago. Um, and I give it an honest uh, 8 out of 10. Uh, our uh, Steven uh, shot 15 rounds out of it, and he said and it was really accurate. Had a good uh, hit on it, um, very good power behind it. Um, according to the manual, it's a M1190 Special Force um, HD 190. You know, uh, pretty much spread M9. Um, so I mean, good gun from Trinity. They gave me a good gun to uh, try out, good gas pullback pistol, very good price. It is a uh, TSD uh, pistol, so it is a very good price gun. Um, you have an 8 out of 10, and uh, yeah, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. So, uh, there you go, right there, uh, TSD, SD92, or what it says is the M190 Special Force, it's called the Bread M9, I'll have a link of it. Um, but, you know, very good pistol for its price, and I hope you all enjoyed this gun review. Um, uh, I do have a couple of announcements. If you all are interested in getting Airsoft DVDs of the Screaming Eagles, we have Screaming Eagles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. It documents the first six years of the Screaming Eagles Airsoft uh, team. And uh, they're $2 each, so it's really not that expensive. And uh, if you're just a big old Airsoft fan and love Airsoft, just watch our videos. This is a highlight video showing uh, major uh, games that we played, uh, video pictures, all that stuff. Um, just stuff that you may enjoy looking at and all that stuff. Uh, just two dollars each per DVD, um, or you can get the whole. You can get the first trilogy, uh, you know, one, two, and three for six dollars, and uh, you can get four and five and six. For six dollars as well, you can just buy them in two trilogies because there's kind of the first three are kind of like one saga, like a story arc in terms of how it tells the story, and four, five, and six are kind of like another story arc. Um, the Crimson War mini episodes coming out next week. Um, wrapping up on Crimson Wars, getting ready for it. Uh, if you haven't signed up for it, sign up for it. If you haven't, uh, message me. We'll sign you up. Uh, uh, happy to announce that Morgan Elliott is now commander of the Imperial Forces. So, um, he's a good commander. So, any of you all who want to join the Imperials, you got a good leader behind your back. Same as the Dixie Confederacy. Jack's a really good leader, so, you know, join the Dixie Confederacy. Um, you can join the Texans, too. Recruitment's back open, because uh, we have plenty of people now uh, for uh, no need to have uh, team caps. Um, more data, more information on Crimson Wars will come out sooner or later. Um, trying to think of something else. Um, if you want a Screaming Eagles t-shirt, um, if you're a fan or a supporter, doesn't mean you have to be a Screaming Eagle to have the t-shirt, uh, message me on Facebook and, uh, hand me, you gotta, uh, send to me by mail or just meet me up someplace, $15, um, for each shirt, um, and then I'll put it on the team's credit card. And we'll purchase the shirt and send it to you. Um, thank you for tuning in for another episode of Screaming Eagles Airsoft 101. I'm your host, Andrew Mullins. Tune in next week. Probably have another gun review for you. 
and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Julius Caesar and uh, proper um, institution of uh, battle plans uh, for airsoft, like uh, what a team commander would do, how his uh, battle plans would start out at the beginning of the game. Uh, for all you Crimson War commanders out there, pretty much maybe a very important thing because some of you, this may be your first real big event, uh, commanding a team by yourself, um, and you want to look good, don't you? So uh, just uh, watch that episode next week. We're going to talk a little bit about how to uh, organize uh, your team on a broad front. So uh, thank you for tuning in for this episode of Screaming Eagles Airsoft 101. I'm your host, Andrew Mullins. 